I've got a little bit of time now, so I'm planning to do a few short walks during the day while it, while the kids are at school. And I really don't want to go in and do bush walk, carrying a rifle or a bow, just just when I'm just um, walking around and just exploring. So I made this very simple um, walking stick, and it's just our alloy. It's about 14 millimeter in diameter and about one meter in length. And I've turned it into a blowgun. It's very simple. I've just covered it with black duct tape, made out of alloy, this pipe. And at the end here, I've got a rubber cap that I can place on the ground without damaging the end. And for the handle, I've just used um, a bit of leather with some hot heat gun. And at the other end, I've done the same thing, a rubber cap, but I've cut the cap so that it allows the allow access to that hole that you can put darts in. I did make up my own darts, but in the end, I went and bought these darts, which is um, cold steel, big bore, low gun hunting darts. So it's so it's got a broad head, and it's got a longer shaft. They're pretty neat. It says that it's razor blade, but it doesn't come sharpened fully. So, but it won't take long to sharpen it on a stone or on a file. Now, because these are made for cold steel blow dart, it doesn't quite fit nicely on my. It doesn't quite fit nicely. So what I've been doing is I've just been trimming a little bit off and then once I get it trimmed down I use sandpaper to take a little bit off and then after that I use, um, I use a stone just to fine tune it. And it works pretty good. You can see the size difference there. The top one is the one that I trimmed down to fit my blowgun. And the bottom one is the standard size for the cold steel blowgun. I've set up a target in my gym here. And I'm going to be about 7 metres away. And we'll take a few shots. I'm not planning on hunting with this because that's illegal here in New Zealand. 
but it's always good to bring something in just in case you get in trouble. I reckon it's a pretty good survival tool and it doesn't weigh much and it also doesn't take up much space. These darts, when it goes in, these things are made to be taken off. So once it hits the target, the caps pop out so that the um, dart keeps on travelling in for better penetration. If you want to know how much damage these darts can do, you can check out Jim Wells, an American hunter who used these darts and his blowgun to take down big animals such as bear and deers and other anything that you can take down with a bow he takes down with these amazing products